Hello guys, it's Jana Michelle here at You Call Me Crafting and I am so excited tonight. If you can hear a little child singing in the background, that's my daughter. It is late at night, but she just keeps singing. I'll be quiet for just one second. Of course, then she's not singing. <laughs> but I am so, so, so excited to do the sneak peek for, as you can see, this square kit. And it is not of my daughter. <laughs> I think that's my new thing, just to cover up the picture with some random other picture until I show you guys. That'll be kind of fun. But this is a very large painting. And when I saw it, I thought it was just gorgeous. I had to be the one to do the sneak peek. So I'm going to move the picture of my daughter, Charlie, and show you the most gorgeous picture. This is Nine Lives by Christopher Lovell. It's not as clear here, but you guys are going to see it so well. This is such a large canvas, 70 by 99. And I'm so excited to do the sneak peek because I definitely want to work on this one a little bit. I mean, look at it. Nine lives. And, ooh, you, you can hear how heavy that is. Let's go ahead and open this up so we can get to the canvas. If you have cats, if you like cats, and it's just such beautiful artwork. I love what he's done. You probably couldn't see the tiny little cat in there, but I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Let's open this up and look at the box is so long I cannot get it in frame at all. And here. Look at this. So there. Ooh. We have our picture. And there are diamond painting instructions on the back. But there are so many more ways. And they're just extra nice to put these on the back. But there are much better ways to get diamond painting instructions through Diamond Art Club or YouTube. Let's get our toolkit. <laughs> there we go. You guys know this is a square. If you are ordering from Diamond Art Club and you're ordering around, the only difference in the toolkit will be no tweezers. But that's all. Here's the picture really quickly. This is about the same size, so you won't see all the detail. I'll show you that on the big picture with all of the stickers for labeling, but this is great for kitting up or pretend this is the box. Putting at the end of the box for storage in case you really love this painting, but you think, I'm not ready to do something this size that's a square yet, but I do want to own it. You can go ahead and stick that on there kidding up. You can stick this in your logbook if you don't want to stick that bigger picture. I'll show you the bigger picture. That's the one that I put in my logbook, but I'll stick this in the bag with the diamond because I store my canvases in the box and then my diamonds go in other boxes. These new amazing toolkits we have. Ooh, this pretty blue heart cover minder, green washi tape. Aren't you guys loving all of these new additions? Oh, I haven't gotten a yellow little squeegee yet. Squeegee. <laughs> Things that you like clean your car with. Oh, and I haven't gotten a yellow pencil yet. Or pen. <laughs> so, now I have the, let's see, pink, green, and yellow. Diamond Art Club, you guys really stepped up with these. They're the best. And tweezers. If you're a first time buyer and you want to start out with the square kit, you're very brave, especially if it's this big. But please eat. These are so sharp. I cannot show you how sharp they are. They're like a needle, basically, on either side. So if you have pets, cats, 
you know, this is nine lives. <laughs> if you have cats or small children, even larger children, I mean, adults have hurt themselves with these on accident. So I always just keep that cap on and keep them up high. And we have our heart container with two of the dark red waxes. I love these and they're really thick. You get a lot of wax out of them. I do love that Diamond Art Club uses the dark wax and they put them in these cute containers. You have a four and a seven multi-placer. Yes. And the cute glittery tray with a plug or a stop or whatever you want to call it, which is great. And then I'm sure we have baggies in here. Yes. Baggies in case if you don't want to get up, you can just work out of the bags in here. Or you can go ahead and put your diamonds in here a little bit at a time, whatever you'd like. I use these for my spares personally, and I plan on organizing them soon. It's just such a big task that I'm pushing it. Doesn't everybody do that? You're like, I really need to get this done, but eh, tomorrow, uh, next week, uh, next month. <laughs> and I will clean out the desk and take the plastic off. So, here you go. Who's that? Charlie? Charlie? Yeah. What is it? The wolf came back. Okay, hold on just one second. Sorry. <laughs> Had to go scare that wolf away if you could hear what she said. And back and look at this huge canvas. I don't know exactly what I said before I left. First, these drills out. Wow. And look at these drills, guys. Wow. First, we have the card that always comes to Diamond Art Club Kit what's included in your kit, tips and tricks, and also, well first, if you've never bought from Diamond Art Club, you can use my code here, some sparkles. You caught me crafting for $10 off your first order, and then you can use thank you 10 for 10% off your first purchase. Then here, you can use this QR code and scan it, for some step-by-step -step video instructions. And here are some written out. But you can also just go on YouTube and find some of your favorite creators. Just, you know, search how to diamond paint <laughs> or anything that you have questions on. Here is the VIP Facebook group. You know, they'll tell you when sales are coming up, coupon codes, but I will have links to all of that down below. So if you don't know how to scan a QR code or anything, please don't worry. I will have links to all of their Instagram, Facebook, everything. Then on the back, we have 20% off your first purchase through the app. And I'll give you another little tip here. When or if you order from Diamond Art Club, again, if it's your first time, you can use my code. But when you get your shipment, save your packing slip because at the bottom, there's a code right here for 15% off for returning customers. So that's, I think, four or five coupon codes already, and that's for 15% off. That's just a little tip for you guys. Now you get to see the artwork. How gorgeous is this? And look, now you can clearly see the little kitty. They're so many just it's hard to describe how beautiful this is and i will definitely be contacting mr christopher lovell and hopefully i can see a little bit of his inspiration but i will link all of his websites and social media so if you want to go learn about him i look through his website and he has so many gorgeous paintings just like this but i mean look at this you guys her hair that mark on her arm, which I, I won't count it right now, but maybe eight lives. I'm not sure. Well, nine lives, sorry. <laughs> nine lives for a cat, but look at this cute little cat. 39. And since it's Diamond Art Club, under 150 is an AB, so we have four ABs in here. Just look how gorgeous her face is. Everything about this picture 
and it's so large it's going to be so much fun this is one that i definitely want to kit up and do a little bit of maybe even the cat but i don't want to spoil that for you guys but i'm not sure but i won't do her face because i want you guys if you do decide to buy this kit to be able to see that beautiful face when you are painting it yourselves but i do really want to show a little bit of this one and I really want to work on it. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And here are the symbols. Nothing looks confusing. I told you that small little sticker didn't do it justice and this will be the one that goes in my log book. Look at it. Look at that behind them. And I'm sure the detailing in here I'm sure you'll notice so many things. And we'll do the diamonds, then the ABs, and then the drill field, just like we always do. And these are stickers just like this, if you do like to kit up. And all of these are extra stickers. They don't just waste that paper. So let's go ahead and look at this beautiful canvas. Again, just one more look at that artwork. And notice they're holding hands, hands slash paws. Oh my goodness. So first, let's open up this canvas so that you guys can look at it. And then I can go ahead and show you the colors of all the drills. But you'll have that beautiful background of our canvas. And this is the top, because do it makes you sparkle. And wow. <laughs> My camera. Can I zoom out? I cannot zoom out anymore. Let me pull it back a tiny bit, but there we go. You can see this is such a large canvas. My camera can barely. Oh my goodness. Get the full picture in. But look. Oh my gosh. Look at this Look at the kitty. And look at her gorgeous face. And there you can easily see in this little claws. Look at her beautiful, it almost looks like a headdress. But it is her hair. The blue on her fingertips from, it looks like she put on that face paint. And then on her arm. Look at the detail in her vest or her clothes. And then her hair goes all the way down to the bottom. Look at that. How unbelievably gorgeous. And you can see Diamond Art Club has a lifetime warranty where if just by chance you don't get enough diamond they'll send them out to you and there's a 99.9% .9 chance that if you think there's something wrong with your canvas like if you see this and you think oh that's a river it's not you just need to or you don't need to even do this but you know you just flatten it down these are poured glue guys Diamond Art Club, if there's any questions that you have, just call them up and they'll help you out. And if your canvas is one of the very rare canvases that somehow just got irreparably damaged, then they will send you a new one if there's no way to fix it. But there are so many ways to fix canvases. Doing this does help flatten out your painting. If it's like rolling up on you, all you have to do is lift it up and put it back down. Poor glue is so forgiving. And as you could see, there was that chart on the top left and then there's one on the bottom right. In case you don't like to kit up and you just want to, you know, keep your bag of diamonds there and look here. And then at the bottom left, we have Christopher Lovell licensed by diamond art club all of their artwork is licensed which is so 
so, so, so important to me, and I hope to you, too. Look at that. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine. Nine lives, and look at this detail, guys. And this is a project, because remember, it's a square. So, it's big, it's a square. <laughs> I just, I'm marveling at this artwork. This artwork is so, so pretty. It's going to make a beautiful statement piece somewhere if you want to frame this one. Because something this big, that square, that you're working on, this definitely feels like a piece that should be framed, doesn't it? And here is our huge amount of diamonds. I'm going to go ahead and cut them into smaller strips. So that'll make it easy. And then I will cut the ABs out. We'll go through this huge canvas and find out where all of the ABs are going to go. And then I'll show you the drill field just like I always do. So just give me one moment and I'll cut these out. 8.98 106 our first AB 433 3861 434 790 oh, 739 and 105 our second AB an AB is Aurora Borealis it just means it has a special coating so it's where the renderer, the person who rendered this painting, really wants something to stand or pop out to just make it even more beautiful. 3860, 803, 435, 738, 436, and 312, 322, 779, 141, our third EB, 3023, 3033, 934, oh, two bags of 934, and Diamond Art Club has been manufacturing their own diamonds and as you can see see there the quality is incredible we have 3810 I love that color our fourth I think AB 139 that's beautiful two bags of 646 And two bags of 414. And see that quality? They're all so flat. See? Three bags of 413. Three o two one. We have one. Two, three bags of 844. So three bags of 844. And two bags of 645. Remember how big this painting is. That's why we're going to have many colors with multiple bags. And 648. Three bags of 647. And two bags of 939. 318. I'm going the other way. <laughs> two bags of 3024. And three bags of 378. Seven. We have 
three bags of seven, six, two. And then two bags of four, fifteen. Quality check, always perfect. First three bags of 317. Here are four bags of 3371. Again, the quality is amazing. These bags are so full. <laughs> but I mean, you guys saw this canvas, it's huge. The last two colors. We have five of. We have five of three seven nine nine. Muchas. <laughs> and of course, five bags of three ten. Not all super full. So the quality again is impeccable sorry about the glare but I'm pretty sure you've been able to see the quality of these drills they're just amazing if you're looking for something just different and muted and kind of not sepia tone, but just, I don't know, there's just something oil painting about this. It's So there were the colors. And now let me show you where the ABs are going to go. Okay, so here are our four ABs. And we are going to go through the canvas from top to bottom, looking for each one of them. And then I'll show you a close-up of the whole drill field. These are the paws. <laughs> the first one is 105. That is this brown, beautiful AB. The symbols for the ABs are 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that makes it easy. And when we're looking through the drill field, you'll be able to look for those numbers and see where they are when you're just looking through also. So 105 is number one. Let's look. And as always, because you can't see the symbols, it's too far away, just follow my finger and I will tell you where every number one is. And I will be doing this because I just love their canvases and I just love flattening them out and touching them. They're so soft. So I already see some, you can see the little lighter kind of brown areas. So here's some ones right here. Here, three ones right here. I will zoom in just a little bit. I'll move the picture, but you still won't be able to see the symbols, but maybe it'll help a tiny bit. But you saw how large this canvas is. If I zoomed in a lot, I'd be moving it everywhere. <laughs> so here are ones right here. Here are two ones, and then there are four ones right here. Two right here. Two ones right here. Two more right there. Right here, there are ones here, two, and then two. Here's a line of four, two, two, three, and here are a couple of ones scattered throughout right here. Then I move to the left over here. There are some ones in here. This whole white area aren't ones, but there are ones in it. I should 
showed you these, these, these. If I missed some, I'm sorry, but I'm human. There are ones right here in this little area. Right above her ear. Maybe an ear, maybe part of her hair. There are ones right here. This little area, you can see it's a little bit lighter. And then, my fingers right here. <laughs> There are ones right there. Just kind of move the canvas over right there. One's right there and one's right there, there. Two ones right there. All the places I pointed out there kind of scattered a little bit in her hair. So they're probably like, they're probably things she uses to, it almost looks like dreadlocks or a form of dreadlocks something. I'm not going to say, you know, I never had dreadlocks or anything, but it looks But it, it's definitely looking like something that she uses to hold her hair up or just a pattern in her hair, something like that. Because as we go down, right here, there are ones right here, 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 here. see? These little lines, these are ones. These aren't. But all of the lines up here are ones. And I showed you those. There are ones in here. I'm looking at the bottom. No ones at the bottom, so. Let me check on the left. Yes, so the ones are just going to be used to accentuate her hair. So the ones are all middle towards the top up here to accentuate maybe jewels, braids, things in her hair, things like that. Gorgeous. Remember, one is this color. So, up in her hair. Two is 106, a lighter kind of cream, baby. So, let's see. Twos, 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 twos. Man. This is such a gorgeous canvas. I'm sure you guys can tell just by looking at it, but in person, it's astonishing. Whoever rendered this, the hand rendering, must have worked so hard. And of course, Christopher Lovell, thank you, because this is just astonishingly beautiful. So, so, so pretty. So pretty. I cannot, like, no matter how beautiful I tell you it is, seeing it in person is a whole, whole different ball game. It's just so gorgeous. Oh, and I found some twos. There are twos here. And they almost look like I found I found twos and the fours are white but it's funny the twos are almost white but it's so clearly a two. There are twos here. 
around this little darker area. I just have to take my time because the two color is a cream, but it's very close to white, so I just want to make sure I find all of them for you guys. for twos. It is a small bag. Because you can see part in my reach. You can see there are only that many. So I wouldn't be surprised if the twos are just right. there in her hair. This little bobbing thingy in her hair. And that thing would be, I'm just pulling up the artwork, the twos. We go right there. So it makes sense that they would pick a special color and make that like kind of flower thing stand out. And then there are other ABs, remember, throughout here showing off some of the other parts. I just wanted to show you on the artwork what that little piece that the two accentuates is. Seeing it in person is a whole, whole different ball game. It's just so gorgeous. Oh, and I found some twos. There are twos here. I found twos and the fours are white, but it's funny, the twos are almost white, but it's so clearly a two. There are twos here. around this little darker area. I just have to take my time because the two color is a cream, but it's very close to white, so I just want to make sure I find all of them for you guys. It is a small bag because you can see part in my reach. You can see there are only that many. So I wouldn't be surprised if the twos are just right there in her hair. And that thing would be, I'm just pulling up the artwork, the twos. We go right there. So 
so it makes sense that they would pick a special color and make that like kind of flower thing stand out. And then there are other ABs, remember, throughout here showing off some of the other parts. I just wanted to show you on the artwork what that little piece that the two accentuates is. I kind of like that. No, I like that a lot. Just kind of one, you know, just really accentuate this area and then the other ABs will accentuate little things throughout her hair. When they render these, they do it everything for a reason. And three is going to be 139, I'm guessing. Yes. This beautiful grayish AB. Isn't that gorgeous? So threes. I think I'll go from the top down. Brings. Mm, cool. Okay, bear with me. There are a couple of threes right down in the area right above the cat's head where this big wheel starts because this is where I see a bunch of threes, okay? So the threes are going to accentuate this big, I'm just saying wheel because it's round, <laughs> but you guys can tell me what this is or maybe the artist will, but this big round thing behind them, but there are threes right here, just a couple, but then I follow my finger. So. A line of threes here, threes, 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 threes right here, a little group of threes here, threes here, and up here and around, a line of threes here, a zigzag line of threes here, threes outlining here, 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 outlining here, 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 a big group outlining here, and it goes all the way to there, here, 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 here. here. I'll show you a close up of this, but threes basically outline all of this area right here. That's going to pop out and be stunning. Stunning! <laughs> I love that. There's some right here. So the threes. And remember, I do a close up of the drill field, so. I'll really show you that area because that's going to be so cool. What a cool place to put threes. And we'll see if there are some anywhere else, but that's going to be so cool. Let me look and make sure that I'm not missing threes anywhere else. Stunning. Every time I look at it, I just, I'm sure you guys understand. You can see it. But, wow. Just so, so, so beautiful. And I don't see any more threes. But doesn't that make sense? Because up there, there's so many, and that's just so. Such a beautiful place to just make that pop. So now we'll do fours and most of them are at the top. There are so, so, so many. So this very full bag of fours. 
that's a beautiful white ABs. I don't think there are many at the bottom, so we'll go from the bottom to the top. Like Drake. Do you get that reference? <laughs> comment if you do. Just comment anything. I love your comments. And also look at the canvas because this is going to go from the bottom slowly to the top. So just look at it. Enjoy the immense beauty that is Christopher Lovell's work and the rendering. Diamond Art Club. Great choice or whoever in Diamond Art Club picked this just because it's stunning. So slowly let's find our fours and also just look at this canvas. Then we'll look at the drill field. There are floors right here. Not these. Not, sorry if you couldn't see that. Not these, but these are floors. down to here. You can see her chin's up there. Her hair's down here and her hair has a beads. Here are floors right here. And then floors go all the way down here. See this white? That's all floors. That's all floors. That's all fours. Okay. We're going to move up a little bit. Oh. I think it's raining. There are fours right here. The cat's little paws, the nails. There are three fours on each nail. So cute. So we went through the force here and then the cat's whiskers. These are fours. Not the end of the whiskers, but the beginning right here. These are fours where my finger is. And on the cat's little nose, there are fours. And the cat's eyes, this one has one AB, and this one has two. And the whiskers right here have fours, of course. And then this, that's all fours right there. And then right here. The woman's hair. Oh, it is raining. Oh, you can't even see that. So, but the top of the cat, that's fours. Let me move to the left. So we got these fours. So there are fours here. Just follow my finger. There's one four right there. Two fours right there. There are fours right here. Three fours right there. Two fours. Three fours. There are fours right here. And right here on. Is that three? No. That's. Well, that's a skull. It looks like a skull. That is a skull of a small animal. Now, can you see it? <laughs> you might have seen it before I did. But there are fours on this little skull. <laughs> if 
thought it was her ear, not the skull. Good job, Janet. <laughs> Four fours right there. I think I just showed you those. But what I was saying is her hair. Fours go all the way up here. All fours right there. Those are not fours. Fours right here, here, here. This white line right there. Those are fours. There's some fours right here, right here, right here. A couple of fours throughout here. A line of fours right there, it's right there. A little circle of fours right here. That's a jewel. Just didn't want to miss another skull. <laughs> there might be more though. Right here, another jewel with fours. A jewel, sorry if I was being too quiet. Fours. Right here. There are a couple of fours. And then right up here. Right. These are fours right there. Then. We already went through the back of our hair and up at the top we have fours. Fours going up like this. Fours. Not all of these are fours, but there are fours throughout here. Fours, 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 something here. These are fours. I'm sure I've shown you most of these, but when we look close up at the drill field, you'll see there are just fours all throughout her hair. How amazing. So things are gonna really pop out, but I love that the cat's kind of muted. The whiskers do have ABs, but then also her face. Honestly, this is really, I feel, going to look like an oil painting or something when you're done, you know? And maybe, maybe that'll show through if I get to work on this as much as I hope to. Maybe I'll do like the cat's face and maybe a little bit of this area just so you can see what it'll look like. I won't do this because... That should be for you guys if you do buy this to see the beautiful AB work and of course her face and stuff. I don't want to ruin that for you. Not ruin it, but I know that if you buy this, you might not want to see the finished product of, you know, when I work on a diamond painting, I like to pick the part where I'm most excited to see and work on that last. So for you, that might be the cat or where they're holding hands, not, you know, paw in hand, but yeah, the little paw or her gorgeous, gorgeous face. But I don't want to do her face because I think that really should be for who wants to buy this painting and stuff. I might work on like this chunk and try to get a little bit of her hair in just so you can see how beautiful it looks. And then I'll have a couple of babies in, but it won't you know, spoil the gorgeousness of the finished product. Now, let's do our final thing and look at the drill field. And for this, it's so large, I'm gonna do what I don't usually do and take my camera off my tripod. So, one second. Okay, so this is me holding, sorry about the shakiness, but here's the cat. Look at these colors. There are the fours. Sorry about the glare from my lights. See, okay, here's this wheel thing. <laughs> I'd say sewer grate, but I hope it's not a meaningful symbol, but like that's just what it looks like with, without diamonds or 
anything, but you can see the threes throughout it. Look at all those threes. That's what I meant in outlines. Let's see. Then we're at the top of our hair. You see the fours? Moving down. Look at this drill cut. You guys, look how perfect. Here's some ones, fours, of course, and then look. Look at that. She is gorgeous. And there's fun multi-placing, but never too much. Here's her hand. And then the little paw. Another little paw. Oh wow. <laughs> a little babies on the nose. Our hair. Gorgeous. There's the skull that I was calling a jewel. Hey, give your jewels to whoever this woman is. And as we're moving down, here's her hand and then the kitty's paw. Here's her shoulder with the nine lives with the blue paint, I'm guessing. And just remember, look at this drill feel. Her hair. You can see there are big bags of 310, but it's to accentuate the lines. It's not like a big multi-placing thing of 310s. In fact, this is kind of the biggest chunk of 310 I see in this photo. Not this photo, this artwork, sorry, but that's the biggest multi placing. You see, it's mainly like here's her vest, the detailing. See, so over here, there's not even three to. A clear, beautiful drill field. There we go. And the 310. We're ending her vest up to her hand. See, it's more of an outline, like you know, Diamond Art Club. They love to use 310 to really accentuate things. And that's what it does here, see? Her eyes, some 310. Mm -hmm. That's an undeniably beautiful drill field. Look at how big. <laughs> this painting is, guys. Look, I'm holding it over. There's the end of my drafting table. Look. This is when my video on rolling on big canvases really comes in handy. I cannot believe I'm starting this, but I really, really want to show you guys at least a part of it, which is kind of make it worth it and I just also really want to work on this cutie also if you have cats or pets what are their names I'd love to know 
cutie. And she is just stunning. Everything about this is stunning. Now, we do have to measure really quickly. Let me get my measuring tape. Let's be thorough. 70 by 99. Now we're going to have short people problems. So, let's do... You can't really see it. It's at zero on the left, so zero. So we want 70. Almost 70. It looks like 69 and three quarters is what it looks like to me. Oh, wait. Yeah even over three quarters, so a little bit over 69 and three quarters. So it could just be my bad measure, measuring, but so really close to 70, but let me see, this should be 99. This is gonna be even harder, let's see. It's hard if you see, can I zoom out? Yeah, a little bit, okay. Oh, my battery's dying. Zero. Let's get this before my battery dies if we can. Oh, and that is 99. So I'm guessing I measured the first one wrong, and this is true to size. 70 by 99. If it's short, it's just less than three less than a quarter of an inch short so pretty true to size and my battery's about to die so we're not but i had to measure it gorgeous i just adore this painting so much and i will be filming me kidding it up a little bit not a full kid up video of course because i want to get it done for this video and then a video of me working on it. I'll add footage at the end. And then hopefully I'll be able to add just a little, you know, 30 seconds to one minute of me showing you what I've done. And you might want to write this date down because I have a feeling, I just have a feeling about this one that this might go fast. I just have that feeling because so many people love cats and animals and it's gorgeous and I just think it's so so beautiful and this painting is going on sale Saturday the 9th April 9th general release is at 9 30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time 12 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Diamond and Ruby Tears release 30 minutes earlier, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but they always save some for general release. But I just have a feeling that this might go fast and there are probably other gorgeous, gorgeous paintings going to be released too, so I would be there and I would love to see your thoughts on this painting if you guys went and got this painting I'd love to see it on my Instagram feed message me if you got it comment below if you think you're going to get it or if you just love the artwork please check out Christopher Lovell's website his social media again everything I've mentioned from the social media for Diamond Art Club to the artist Christopher Lovell I will link below and if he writes me back, I will pin that in a comment or I will talk about it in my footage later once I've kitted this up and worked on it. I really hope you enjoyed this sneak peek. I did so, so much fun. Thank you so much for being here and as I always say, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. You never know what they're going through and they don't know what you're going through. So for your mental health, your well-being, don't let what other people do bother you. I know that's easier said than done, but 
I know that you guys are amazing and you should know that you're cared about so much. I care about you. I would love it if you would subscribe. There's so many videos to come, not just sneak peeks. I have so many ideas, so many fun things. Please like, again, subscribe, comment. I love, love, love talking to you guys. That's my favorite part about all of this is not only showing you artwork that I adore and getting to work on it alongside you guys and show you everything, but getting to know you, getting to know all about you, <laughs> but really getting to know you. This little community is growing, but I honestly don't mind if it stays small or if it grows or anything. I think it'll still be this wonderful group of people and you're all so, so kind. Again, please talk about your pets, talk about your lives. If you want me to make a video on something, please just let me know. Add me on Instagram. It'll be linked below. It's the same, you know, you caught me crafting. If you're not comfortable commenting, but you know, video ideas, I answer all of them. I love them. I hope to see you guys so, so soon. And there will be video after this, so. I'll say goodbye then, but right now I'm going to go get up this painting. <laughs> Bye for now. Hey guys, so you see I haven't gotten as much done as I'd like, but I'm having so much fun working on this. And you can see I plan on working on it all today. It's so much fun. The squares are beautiful. Everything about this kit is so beautiful. I couldn't suggest it more. I have no idea why my voice is so hoarse. But I'd keep painting and then show you guys more, but I saw that Diamond Art Club just posted it and I know that you guys want this sneak peek right now. So I'm going to go ahead and add this, upload it, and I really, really 100% suggest this. I'm just going to quickly read my messages from Christopher, Mr. Lovell, <laughs> and he said, here's a little jargon for you. Hope it helps. Let me know if you need anything else. My love for art started when I was very young. I was always drawing my favorite characters and many made up ones. Lots of the artists that I enjoyed and admired growing up still wow me with their art to this day. I am constantly inspired by their art and styles, which often fuels the creation within me. Often within my paintings, I have a character that I want to draw and then the painting develops from there. For Nine Lives, it started out with wanting to draw a goddess, maiden type character, with the idea to give her an animal companion. I decided on a cat for her once I had drawn her out and I thought a nice way to symbolize their time together would be a tattoo on her arm showing the lifetimes that they've spent together. You might also notice that they are holding hands. This is to portray the connection with other. And there is a small mice skull in her headdress, which is a gift from the cat. Hope it's going well. It looks like it's an amazing render. 
Hopefully it will be well received by the community. Thank you all so much. You've been so kind. See, he's the nicest guy ever, so I hope you enjoy this. I'll talk to you so, so soon. I'm going to keep updating you on my Instagram because I'm going to be working on this. Trust me. It's so much fun. The diamonds are just gorgeous. Here's my little cat. This has been so much fun. I truly, truly enjoyed this sneak peek so much. Thank you guys for everything. Bye. See you so, so soon.